we save a video and then we put it here. Oh, we're live. Oh shit. Okay, so let's go through the checklist. Actually, yeah. Oh, my friend say sorry, I have no idea. Did that show that you're alive? Or oh, someone joined, I don't know who's that. Okay, but never mind. Uh, so yes, let's go through the stuff first. So get yourself a drink. We have our drink here. Okay. Mute devices, we have muted our devices. Double check audio input. Actually, we don't need to clap and sync, you know? Because uh -huh. this time we have already synchronized. We are all this is synchronized. And then... Yes, and then what are we doing next? A 5 second pause. Yes, we still need a 5 second pause. Because we need to... Noise, noise cancel. Oh, okay, noise okay. cancel. Okay, so yeah, like usual. Yeah, start. And yes. It's eight now. Okay. okay, I mean like the time isn't that important. Like. <laughs> I mean like the live should. The well, I kind of promised my sister that the shooting will go out, go out at, at, at like eight or something like that. But then like, it's not that essential to be eight lah. Main thing is that we completed this whole thing. But yeah, I haven't opened up my notes actually. Give me a second. Uh. Let me just plug in the iPad. Actually, people have no idea what they're here for. Yeah. <laughs> we are here for a... We are, we are doing a live of our podcast. Yeah, a live version of our podcast. So we are recording our podcast. And at the same time, we are doing live. And this podcast will, will, be, will, be, will be uploaded like three weeks later, I think. Yeah, according to our usual schedule and all that. Okay. So, are you ready? Yeah. Alright. Clear. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ink Talks podcast. How are you doing this week, Varine? I thought you're going to ask me how is my day then. <laughs> I, I, I mean like, okay, okay, okay. Because like, this is a bit, okay, this is actually a bit different. So this is our first podcast that we are doing face to face because yeah, we started like somewhere in May, right? Yeah, yeah. We started somewhere in May and then we are already in like the movement risk movement control order, which is our, our version, Malaysia version of lockdown. So we never really get a chance to, comp uh, to, to record a podcast face to face and this is our first time doing it. So yeah, it's quite exciting. But uh, yes, still, I think... I think how was your week? Yeah, since since uh yeah last, last time we recorded it's like a week ago. Uh, my week, I'll say, um, everything is quite okay for me. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, just, just a bit, just feeling a bit tired because I've I've started working now. Yeah, I guess nothing much, but generally it's quite good. Yeah. Generally quite good. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Oh, uh, I'm just interested. Like, like generally it's quite good. Uh, what's the good stuff? Well. Uh, okay, I, I, because I'm working in the mental health related field and then um, I feel quite, I feel very happy and good when I get to help people, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, although, although the part that I'm doing is not like very big or what, yeah, maybe it's just a very small thing that I'm doing, but whenever the patient will tell me that it helps them or in any ways, it actually, I, I, feel ha I feel happy and it actually motivated me to go further. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I, I I really like it. So yeah, I, you told me about that, but then I just <laughs> I just wanted to know like what's a good part, and yeah, I really agree with with this part. I really like like yeah when when yeah like like the the, the all the small gratitude that you that you feel from the patient, and you just feel felt like you really did a lot of things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Overall, the the whatever that your organization is doing towards the refugees, like quite quite cool and mm -hmm. quite quite good. So. Yeah, what were you saying? What were you asking me? Were you asking me something? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I say, how about you? Your week? <laughs> okay, my week. My week. What did I do this week? Uh, oh, packing luggage. <laughs> oh, well, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, I was, I was packing my, my luggage for for my, for my traveling to UK and then like, it's... But, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing it a bit early because I'm actually traveling two weeks later. Yeah, I I think I'm just I'm just trying to make sure that I I bought everything that I I, I need for UK. So yeah, I, I just kind of pack pack all that stuff. Uh, otherwise, it's like it's just kind of for fun. Yeah. For fun. I I, I mean so yeah. Like, is fun. I know no like like it, it gives you the sense that like you are you're preparing yourself to to like to like go UK. So that is the fun part. And then I'm just like I'm doing a checklist. I'm 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 doing like. 
I think it's called auditing as well. Like just to make sure that I, I don't miss out anything. Like if I want to buy stuff, okay, is this something that I should buy or is this, is this like excess thing that I shouldn't buy something like that? That's why I'm just like checking everything, like it, checking the weight, whether it can fit more stuff or something like that. So that's basically what I'm doing. Lah. And uh, other than that, uh, it's been quite a, actually quite a lazy thing. I'm just, I've just been suffering from procrastination since, since a long time ago. Yeah, so, <laughs> but I managed to. I'm not that I managed to overcome it. I managed to push push myself to to complete all the stuff at the end of the deadline. Yeah, so that's yeah. not a good thing. But then, like, at least I've done it. So I definitely think that my my week isn't as as fruitful as yours. You definitely oh. did a lot of stuff that can uh, that's considered like more more. There's more contribution to this world. Something like <laughs> I don't think I've, I've really done much. I've just like been doing usual stuff. Uh, some fun stuff making myself happier by packing the luggage and then yeah completing oh making life. yourself happier can also be a uh, I mean yes it's, it's good to recognize that as uh-huh. a thing that 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 uh, you've completed you've accomplished yeah it's important to see it that way but then uh, like, like, I, I don't mean that I, I'm thinking that I'm useless or something just that I think compared to you yeah, mm. you're doing a lot more contribution and then I, I have a lot more uh Improvement space or something like that. Yeah, uh, a lot of space for for improvement and all that, to to do more lah, to do more things like instead of like procrastinate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So yes. Uh, what's the topic for this week? Yeah. Okay. So the topic for this week is actually would you allow your child calling you by your name? Mm, interesting, right? Okay. Alright. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay. You, you think about the topic. You come up with the topic. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Of course, I came up with the topic. I find it interesting. That's totally normal. Okay, but yes. Um, yeah, would you allow your, your, your child to call you by your name? Because I believe... I'm not sure, actually, at least in the Asian culture. I'm always speaking from the Asian culture. Uh, the... Father and mother title is kind of fixed. You don't really call your parents by their name, like yeah. Yeah, and in in our culture, it's kind of like inappropriate to call your parents by their name. So. Yeah, yeah, that that that's the thing. So, uh, that's why I I I I wonder why I I, I actually I, I thought of why, and then I I think think would this apply to me myself? Like, would I allow? Would would I really want my 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 kids to just call me that? Uh, and, and not like Andrew or something like that. So, yes, uh, let's start. Why do you think is it this way? At least for Asian culture. Why do you think since, uh, since birth we are only allowed to call our parents by their title instead of by their name? Well, I think one thing in our culture is that um, we as children when we grow up, our parents are the elderly always tell us that we need to follow what the uh, older people is telling us. So, um, but when there's a title like daddy, mommy, or like teacher or mm-hmm. anything, it gives us a feeling that we need to follow whatever they say. You know? They have a okay. highest, like kind of like higher status. It's like Lila. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Um, so is it like... Um, just because they are f- older, so they came, they 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 came to this world before us. <laughs> so we should listen to whatever they say. Therefore, therefore we should follow this title thing, which is created by the generations before us. Just to specify that this these people came before us, and therefore we should respect them. Something like that. Uh, yeah, but but I. But I mean, maybe in the past when people created this title thing, um, it's not because, it's not solely because um they are just older than us. Maybe, um, they have, they thought of the more older people have hmm? more knowledge or different perspective from us. So, yeah, we we should learn from them. I believe this is like one thing from the Asian culture. Like mm-hmm. we always kind of learn from the older people. Like. So okay, so you think that they just uh, they created mm, titles for people that we should learn from them. That that uh, yeah, they created titles for people that people that, that they think we should learn from them. Uh, yeah, I yeah, can okay, say so. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I, this is just my opinion. I, 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 yeah. I wouldn't disagree with you, but uh, actually, if you ask me the the origin of this of this title thing, I actually I'm I'm not sure. I never studied history about this, and then uh, even if you ask me to just like think of why, yeah, I okay. I'll kind of uh, agree with yours. I I'll think that. Maybe it's someone that is respected. Let's say a a scholar or something, mm-hmm. someone that brought um, big ideas and all this, and then they just, or even like before that, someone who brought the rain or something like that. So <laughs> like, yeah, uh, someone that is considered supernatural, yes, yeah, considered God and all that. They just gave them a title because they are un- they are able to do things that we are unable to do. So we should respect them in some way. So basically, people that they think that is respected, they just give them a title. And then, for some reason, I don't know why. Then it turned into our our parents and mother have the title, and then, but I I actually don't think that we we call uh, we 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 call them by their title because of we think that they should be respected or something like that. We basically we just follow rules, I think, because the Asian culture just uh just taught us to follow rules, and then and then yeah. Just follow the rules, and there's nothing wrong with it. So, so since we've been calling our parents, our grandparents by their title, and then nobody broke the rule, and so we just kept abiding by the rule, and therefore now we're still calling them by their title. And we and, and the thing is, we never really question why. And even if people in even uh, most of the time when people question why. They would just say that either yeah we've been doing this for generations or they just say that no because you should just respect the older generations when and we never really question why we should really respect I I mean like uh they sh- most of them should be respected mm-hmm. but it's worth it's it's still worth questioning why why we respect them like I mean we we don't necessarily need to just call them by their title to respect them and there's a lot of other ways to respect them so uh, I can like, call, call you by your name but then I still respect you uh, some, something like that like, like, even in today's culture when we talk about startups and all that we, you have a CEO or whatever, whatever but you don't really yeah, meet yeah. the CEO and then call like, hey Mr. CEO <laughs> you, you might just call, call, call them by their name I, I believe in, in Facebook maybe they, they, they just call, call, call Mark Zuckerberg Mark or something something like that so yeah uh, yeah True, I I kind of understand uh, your point. Uh, and, and one thing is, I think in our generation, I mean, not in our, in our culture, we generally don't really question something, when, especially <laughs> when someone that's older than us tells us to do something, right? We yes, just yes, follow, yes. yeah. Yes, yes, that's very true. Yes, okay. So, I guess we're kind of settle with that. Um, yeah, so. Okay, now, now let's get straight into the topic. So, would you would you just allow your children to call you by your name after after you talk about it? So now we kind of agree that we follow rules, or yeah, when the elders just tell us that yeah, they should be respected. So yes, just call them by their title. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, nothing wrong. Let's follow with that. Let's follow this rule. So yes. Okay, that, there's two things in my mind. Well, to allow or not allow, well, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll say I will allow, but oh, okay, the another yeah. thing is preference. Okay, let's let's start with the first. Let uh wait. Okay. Oh no, that's that's actually one single answer. So you allow, but then by preference. No, I mean I allow, but uh, I but still I prefer them to call me like mommy or something. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. All right. Can I explain that? Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think calling me by my name is not respecting me or what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As, yeah. But but for the title of mommy or something like this, mm-hmm. I think it's kind of like intimacy. I I, uh, I can I feel that's closer relationship between me and let's say the children. Okay, I don't have any. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and, and um, what? Oh, okay. Another thing is, you won't randomly go out and call someone mommy. Um. Uh. uh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that that's there's very little chance yeah, of that. So, yeah. So I, I think it is a special it is a special title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll prefer that. But if they really want to call me by my name, well, 
I don't mind. <laughs> okay, so you don't mind. Not that. Uh, so, so but the thing is, you don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll allow them to do that. You allow or you don't mind? That's two different things, now I say. You allow is like you're okay with it. Um, uh, you're okay. I don't mind, so I'm okay with it, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, you allow, okay, uh, okay, I can, yeah, allow, I, 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 I think that there's a difference between that too, I, I, I had a reason for that, uh, you what allow, the reason? okay, give, give me a moment to think about it, <laughs> I allow that, I don't mind, I mean, yeah, I allow is more like a, how, uh, like, how do I say it? Mm, okay, I, I, I allow is kind of decision made by you. I don't mind it's like some, some, uh, someone making the decision. So uh, the thing is, uh, okay, I don't mind it's conforming with someone else. I allow is that I am kind of like setting the rules here. Yes, so that's the difference. So I allow might say that there is a reason behind why I, I allow this. But if you say, I don't mind. It, it might be like someone someone say, oh, uh, I will call you by your name because of something else. Like, okay, I don't mind that. That is what I, I think. That is what I think. Do, do, you, see, do you see the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see yeah, the difference? I, I, yeah. I know what you're saying. Uh. Um. <laughs> okay, this is a bit hard for me. Okay. Mm. So, do you allow or you don't mind? So, if you don't mind, it's kind of like. But uh, if I don't mind, I mean, if I don't mind. Does this mean that I will allow? I mean if you... Okay, yeah, this is a bit different. Yeah, I, I feel like if you don't mind... Okay, you kind of you allow, but then... You never said it beforehand. It's kind of like, okay, so... Since since you want to do it this way, might as well you do it this way. That I never really thought of this, but now I don't mind doing it. Because you have a valid reason. But when you say you allow it, you kind of you have a valid reason. I will allow you to call call me by my, uh, by my name because of what, 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 and there will be something I'll be talking about it. Actually, I, I, I would allow my, my, my kids calling me by my name. But yeah, if you say you don't mind, it's like, yeah, I, I, I would like you to call me, call me um, mom or something, but I won't mind if you, if you have a reason that you want to call me by my name. So the reason comes from there, but if you allow, you set the reason. Oh, okay. I, I, I say this way. I, I, that's my perspective. Okay, but, but what if, uh, wait, if, if, okay, if, okay, I'm imagining if one day they come and come to me and tell me that they, they want to call me by my name, mm -hmm. I'll still ask them why. I, I mean, yeah, I would so, like to know mm -hmm. why. So, does that mean I allow or I don't mind? I think that is more like, if, if, uh, I would consider that as I allow them. Yeah, okay. because you they didn't really specific, so they are not kind of. Uh, it's more like in I don't mind. It's like when they demand, they they make a demand, and then you say I don't mind. But you say if I if you say I allow, is that when they make a request, they make a request, you allow. If oh, they make okay. a demand, then you don't mind. Okay, okay, then, like that. okay, that I allow. <laughs> you allow. Okay, okay, cool. So so basically. Okay, all right. But but what's okay? So you don't really have a specific reason why you allow them to call you by um, by your name. You just like you just prefer them to call you by your title, and then if you want them, uh, if if they want to call you by your name, they must give a valid reason, and you don't have a valid reason in mind. Yeah, as of now, I don't have. That. Okay, so so basically, I, I believe by default it's like nothing lah. So by default, you won't really tell them that. You would let them, um, you, you would let them just call you by your name since like, you don't really have a reason, right? Otherwise, yeah, it'd be yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. You? So, yes, now I'll talk about mine. Uh, so, yes, I, I, I've talked about, uh, yeah, I kind of wrote it, but a uh, uh, few points down here. I thought you'd never uh, prepare, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, because when, when, when we talked, when we chose this topic yesterday, we kind of. And not yesterday. Last, last week. week. Yeah, we chose this topic last week. We, yeah, I, 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 I just had some talk. I, I kind of just told you all most of my points, and then I was like, <laughs> yeah, these are all the points. I should just write it down. Otherwise, I might forget about it, or I might change, change, 
uh, change my weight of top weight of top some some something like that. So yes, uh yeah, I mean yes I would I would allow my children to call me by my name because uh while father and mother is a important title, I believe mm -hmm. it's important. I believe it's a bit restrictive. Yeah. Okay. Basically this this title kinda restricts something. Uh it it is kinda built on a higher 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 <laughs> hierarchy. hierarchy hierarchy mindset so there's like different levels and all this that's why we should call uh, our parents father mother and then our grandparents grandfather grandmother and then our great grandparents like great grandfather great grandmother like that's like levels and all this and so yeah I, I don't really like this so when 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 you just tell your parent uh, your, your kids that like, oh you should call me by your father call, call me by uh, call, call me father, call you mother, something like that, and then they kind of think that uh, so like we are one level above them, and then like grandfather, grandmother is one level above us or, us, us or something. So there's a distance, something like that. Okay. It it kind of builds a distance. Okay. Yeah. So, so something like you feel a distance between your manager or your supervisor or your boss or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, something like that. So yeah, okay, something here. Okay, so. The reason why I think that we shouldn't have this distance is because that initially when, when we are born, father and mother are, okay, mainly all the elders are our mentors, act as our mentors because the knowledge they, that they have is more valuable because, well, they, they generally, when we're born, we, we kind of have almost clear, close to zero knowledge and then they have more knowledge. Lah. Yeah, so we kind of learn from them and everything. Uh, they, they teach us everything, yeah. But as we grow old, things kind of shift a little bit. So as we grow, we get more knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do. They, they do as well. So, so both of us kind of get more knowledge. But you need to know that we are more, usually the younger generation are more proficient in the latest knowledge. <laughs> I'll just say the latest knowledge. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm more proficient in the latest knowledge. So we learn more, we, we get more current knowledge and all this. Uh, so at one point, okay, so uh, let, me, let me say this thing. So uh, at, at one point, our knowledge is worth the same as all, their, all our parents' knowledge because our parents' knowledge contain most of the old knowledge and then some of the newer knowledge so if we if we score their knowledge the older knowledge will definitely score less and then the the newer knowledge will definitely score more so at one point if we calculate the scores of all our knowledge definitely our parents will still have more knowledge but the score of the knowledge be, uh, calculate based on their value will be kind of the same so we have more valuable knowledge uh, i mean i know we, we at, at one point we have the same value of knowledge and then as we grow older we will have more more va um, more knowledge that's more valuable. Do you get what I mean? Okay, I, I get what you mean what you mean by hmm? the, the knowledge accumulation thing. Hmm? But but do you mean that when when you have I mean when the children have kind of similar level of knowledge with the parents or the elderly hmm? uh, so they don't deserve to be called by their title anymore. No, 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 no. Okay, no, not, 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 not this, not this uh. anymore. No, uh, not, not this yet. Not this yet. I haven't touched that point yet. So, so now I'm just, I'm just saying that. Oh, so we can uh, need to recognize that at one point our knowledge, uh, our knowledge value will be the same and then higher than our parents okay. or grandparents and something like that. I believe we kind of know that. So that's why as we grow older, we need to teach them on how to use the latest technology. We need to help them out something like that i mean they still have the knowledge they have a ton of knowledge but their knowledge is l less of value when compared to us so that's the point where we need to teach them right yeah. they they, they can't or, or or you can say it another way where they need to learn from us okay yeah so if if we continue this restrictive mindset where we think of parents are always above us you we might face a problem mm -hmm. we uh I, at least in my family in my asian perspective sometimes parents grandparents just are unwilling to step down and then accept that now i should be the one learning from you or even us as children we 
we don't think that we are valuable enough to teach them sometimes. We don't think that we are qualified to be a teacher in some ways. Because I'm not just talking about teaching phones and all that, right? Uh, yeah. we are, we, I'm going deeper into even like... Life values. Yes, life values. and Because life values change, mm-hmm. change in, 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 uh, in different points in life, like something like that. So we don't think that we are, we are at the right point to, like, to just like tell them that maybe you should consider these different life values, like mm-hmm. some, something like this. So I think if we continue this hierarchy mindset uh, and, and this restrictive title naming scheme thing, it will it will it will keep this this uh this thinking. Okay. Yeah. That's why let me see. <laughs> yeah. that, that's why uh I, I will mind my children calling me by my name because I I will consider us as kinda the same level. Because yeah, of course now I'm I'm your mentor, but eventually one day you'll be my mentor. I hope that we will be supporting each other. Instead like you will always be thinking that I am like the god. <laughs> I, I believe there's, there's some point in your life where you think that, oh, my parents know everything. And then it kind of just mind blown you when you found out that, wait, they don't really know everything. <laughs> and sometimes whatever they say might be wrong because we are just humans. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a normal thing. Yeah, something like that. So I think, I, I, mainly I don't like them to call me by this dead father or mother title because I think that this risk this will build a distance and then make um, how to say a restrictive there's this, this restrictive mi- mindset that they might not be able to overcome like becoming our teacher something like that okay but but okay because I'm not very sure but from mm-hmm. your observation of mm-hmm. those like western culture mm-hmm. they still call their like yeah, some of them still call their parents or grandparents by the title mm-hmm. do you think there's still a hierarchy there like in western culture Speaking, speaking uh, of culture. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm I'm not very I'm not very sure, mm-hmm. but I I believe there is. I'm not very sure. I, I believe only because I've never participated okay. in any of those Western culture families and all that. But I still believe there is. That's why we are so uh like because uh, we have this evil thing something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, I I just think that there is. But yeah, hold on to that first. Because uh, <laughs> when we talk about the title thing, I I would allow them to call them by by my name because of this whole reason. But I won't mind if they call this call me fa- uh, father ma- uh, father yeah. I'm new. <laughs> father dad or father <laughs> a father or dad because uh, I I think this father or dad thing this 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 title mm-hmm. yes like what we say it's. It's a title that's built upon respect. Mm. We put, put this title if you respect someone. Mm. So there's no point like just force, force, force this naming, this title onto them. Like if they do respect me, they will just call me automatically. Okay. So like I'm like, yeah, like <laughs> if you if you, uh, if you call me that, then yeah, I'm good with that as well. But then the the, the main thing is I don't want to just just force you to think that you are only allowed to call me that because like that just kind of make keep us a distance or something like that mm, okay. I so, so you mean, think it's so that you way mean, uh, maybe since they are young mm. you allow them to call you like Andrew yeah. but then one day when they go to school and they realize that everyone calls their parents <laughs> by, uh, uh, by the title uh, and then they feel like oh I also want to do that because uh, I feel <laughs> I want to respect my father uh, then I come back Oh. Yeah, I was like, yeah, sure. If you want to call me okay. that, I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I I I don't just just I don't want I don't like to tell them that you must call me that because I'm your dad. I'm your biological father, and then everyone does that, and then therefore you should do that. That's that's the main reason I don't I don't okay, want okay. them to do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. so, so done with your point. <laughs> uh, oh yes, yes. Uh, so this is basically would I allow my child to call me by my name but but there's one thing though because uh okay this is one of the disadvantage of allowing this i, I won't say it's a disadvantage it's just something that uh, the world is, yeah the world doesn't work in the same way for everyone it works this way for me but of course i can't just let them run around <laughs> calling everyone by their name 
<laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is kind of the hard part. So of course, I I would think that it's kind of important to teach them that while they I, I allow them to like call me by by my name, I would say that because not everyone is okay with this way. So yeah. some people prefer to be called by their title. So when they meet others, it's still best to call them by their title first. But I would love to have I would love them to. I would love them to have this open mindset where like they would go and ask or something like, oh, would do you mind if I just like call you by your name, something like that? Yeah, because I want that to be I want them to have a to be a lot more open minded. Don't be so restricted by things like this. Because like we, you might think that it's quite a stupid that we are restricted by this name, but then we are most of the time in office or whatever, he's our supervisor and all this and then we just think that some things are not meant to be said, some things are not meant to be asked. Mm-hmm. I mean, in uh, in our society, yes, this exists. There's certain uh, hidden rules that we shouldn't break. But I think that it's okay to try break it, and if it really grows wrong, then we just kind of apologize. That that that's that's my my motto. I mean, that's what I learned from the books I've read for our work week and all that. I think. Yeah, it's better to try instead of the prevent. <laughs> well, okay. yeah. Okay, like, okay, for what you say, I think, I think I kind of have a different idea because, uh, mm-hmm. like, like I said, I, I don't, I, I will allow them to call me by my name, but, but I'm not telling them, okay, you start from calling me by my name first. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You can start from calling me mom or what but uh, slowly I'll, I'll let you know that it's okay to call me by my name if you want uh, to why though okay why, why, why this other uh, this different way well I think uh, I think it's much more easier to let them learn that it's uh, mm. um, like from what you uh, like what you say um, they just can't ra- go out and randomly call a person oh okay right okay. So it's I, I think it's a, an easier way to teach them this and then mm. and then telling them it's okay to call me by my name I don't I I'm okay with it and there are people out there that are that is okay with this also uh-huh. yeah so if you would like to do this you can always ask them uh-huh. and also uh, earlier when you say about the distance thing I think sometimes it's how you brought bring up the child mm. like if since young. You try to keep as a like friendship uh-huh. relationship. Then, then it's totally different. Even though he or she is calling you father or mother, okay. right? Mm. Yeah. So I think for me, well, of course, I want to have a very good re- relationship <laughs> with my children. Right? Uh-huh. I mean, in the future. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think I'll, I'll follow this approach instead mm. of like just ask, just letting them to randomly call my name, and then I, I don't think it's it's. Uh, c- by calling my name, then our distance will be short, uh, closer. Yeah, mm. there, there's still a lot of factors affecting this. Mm. From what I think. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I I I mean I understand your perspective. Like, but but the first point that you talk about, uh, the the reason I I would I would because we talk about like you want to be, your your way is kind of be let's let's uh it's better to be safe right uh than to be sorry so that we kind of prevent things first before. Before it, it kind of got worse, but mine is different because mm-hmm. I, I I would just do it by calling my name first because like, my motto is just like yeah it's okay to just like mess things up as long as you, you learn to apologize and all that so I won't mind that they just rush out and I, I don't want them to do that but I won't stop I won't just put on the brake immediately in in the beginning I just like no you shouldn't do this so you should you should learn everything first then you do it. I, I, I don't like to think it that way. I like to just like yeah. Do it first. Uh if it goes wrong then apologize and I would I would be the one that like, apologize to, to whatever adult is like, oh I'm sorry because like kinda of, kinda of this our culture and all that. Uh I understand you you don't don't really enjoy that and yeah, I'll talk to my child about it, even though like my culture is different than, than your culture. So it's just my motto, that's why I went ahead with my way that I would let them call me by my name first instead of like call me by the title first. And then the second thing you talk about is oh the, the the name thing the name thing yes so uh yeah that I I mean I totally agree with you so the name thing might not contribute that much because that's a lot of factors included into it but why why don't we just 
accept all the factors that might contribute into it and then we take all of them out which includes letting them uh, which includes not just letting them calling you by your title do you understand me you you kind of say that uh so the distance things are are contributed by a lot of factors not not only mm-hmm. them calling you by your title mm-hmm. so yeah it's okay we just we just still let them call call calls by by our title because yeah there's a lot of con- contributing factors there so we we change all the other stuff but for me i, I see it the other way so there is all this con- contributing factor since we already noticed one of this 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 contributing factor why not remove that as well and then we'll remove all the other one by one not saying that we're ignoring all that but this is one of them we found it let's get it out of the way and then subsequently all the other contributing factor let's remove them one by one that's how we break the distance between the child and parent thing okay i agree with what you say but mm. but what i'm trying to say just now is huh? it's not saying that i i'm not letting them to do that right i'm still allowing them to do that just that hmm? just that i realize that there's still a lot more factors contributing mm. to that so uh, i won't say uh, by letting them calling me by my name mm. then the our distance will be closer yeah, yeah. so you're not so, not so gonna I, do this no no i mean i because 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 you're, you're kind of like defining defending your point that like uh i don't think this is important enough so we shouldn't look at this because like why don't you just like allow them to call you by your name so it 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 may only help that one percent, but but this one percent might be important as well. Cause cause you're, you're, uh, from what I from what I understand from you, you keep defending that this one percent is not the only thing. So there's other more important thing. I know it's not important, but why not we solve this as well? You get do you, you get what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know. Mm. Okay, I think it's because I have the preference. Mm. So so it's it's okay. Don't mind me, but it's more of a selfish thing. You just prefer them to call you by by uh, uh, call you mom. It's it's so like the your your preference that they call you mom is more important than this one percent that may help them to break this distance. I would say this kind of goes back to like previously, like because the the reason why you do thing you 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 choose to do things this way is like you're kind of finding reasons to support uh, to support the hidden reason thing. Like the, the hidden reason is kind of. Because you just prefer them to, yeah. to call you call your mom, so you 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 keep kind of finding ways to like say that yeah they should just call me mom. Would you agree on that? Well, I I do agree that it, it is possible that I'm trying to find, <laughs> uh, find ways to defend. I mean that there's, yeah. there's nothing there's nothing yeah. wrong, huh? Uh, but but I'm not saying that they hmm? should call me <laughs> mom. You know. <laughs> Okay. 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 <laughs> Let me think of it. Okay. So yes. Uh. You. Okay, I. I understand. I would. Uh, I would like them to call me mom, but. Uh, it's you won't. That. You won't just like explicitly tell you that. Tell them you can. You can choose to call me by by my name. You will be like, oh, if they explore it one day, then you go with it. So I believe yours. You don't mind. You don't really allow them. You don't mind, because you still prefer it this way. If they found out another way, you would do it. You won't really go and tell them. You will allow it this way, because you still prefer them to call you by, call you as mom. Okay, okay, that I, I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, the the mom thing is very important to you. You are a bit selfish on that. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing. You just prefer that mom thing. You just like it. It's very normal for us to like that. You you agree that. That's that's all. This will contribute to this as well. But just that this mom thing is so important to you. Like it's kind of like you you have when we talk about sacrificing either breaking the distance, uh, like not calling you mom to break the distance or or calling you mom to not break the distance. You will choose to let them call you mom, and then you work on all the other stuff to 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 break this this parent parent child distance thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah, yeah. And that, that that's right. So basically, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 I mean, like, yeah. Generally, you just prefer them calling you mom, but you 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 agree with all the how 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 this may may help even though one percent. Yeah. To, to, to yeah I agree. Cool. Okay. 
cool, cool, cool. I mean, I mean, it's cool, right? Like now, how many, how many people do we have? We have like three, <laughs> three. I, mean, I actually don't have, don't have yeah, anyone here. I see that. <laughs> Already? Oh, because, because, because. <laughs> hey, are you wearing contact lenses? Huh? Yes, but then you can't really see. Yeah, that, my eyes are so big. Okay, there's no one in my life now. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But but yours, yours are uh, there's there's two right now. But yeah, it's fine. Okay, so cool. I I I'm glad we are on good terms, and then we kind of understand that you basically just just like that to call your mama. Okay, yeah. Cool. It would be quite interesting if your your children really find out this podcast. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, I, I, mean, that's I a, don't yeah, mind. Yeah. You just explain to them, yeah, yeah, I just like this way, but yeah, you find a reason, then I won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I if if you treat, if they respect you well, they will just call yeah, you mom. Yeah. You can just tell them, like, yeah. I mean, I would like you to call, I, I would allow you to call me by my name, but... I would really like you to call me mom because I just prefer that and then if you if they respect you yeah they surely will just do that because they respect you they mm. they know that you are their well, mom I, I can't tell mm. them my reason like mm. other than my preference I mm. think I think it's an intimacy thing and you pull randomly go out and call someone mom <laughs> that, that's not so weird right yeah. and people would think but, 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 yes. then, but then that, that why, why, why does that come in right? So if, if, if they don't go out and randomly call mom, then you shouldn't be worried lah. Then definitely they will come back and call you mom yeah, only mom. I mean, I mean that, that is... That, that, that makes them more likely to call, call you mom, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah? Then why are you so worried? I'm not... I mean like, like, like what I said, if, if they respect you, they just call you one mom. Okay. Yeah, so then why... That, that, that point kind of solidifies my point that you, you shouldn't... Uh, if, like, if they respect you, they just call you mom. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, you shouldn't worry about that one. Okay. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I understand. Like initial, in this initial stage, you don't want them to just go out call and then and then it might take a, a, a long time before they start calling you mom. Understand this 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 uh, this talk thing and then this this talk that you have then start calling you mom. I believe so. You just prefer to shorten the time. I believe because in my way, definitely I tell them like, oh, you can just call me Andrew, and then they might just go uh, call me Andrew for ten years before they understand that. Uh, Oh, okay, so the, the dad thing is like a respect thing and I respect my dad and yeah, sure, why not? I just call, call Andrew dad as well. So, what, yeah. if, hmm? what if after 10 years they say, oh, okay, if I respect my dad, I should call him dad, but I don't really... Okay, that, that, <laughs> in, in that case, it may be my fault or something. Mm, yeah, okay. my fault or something. So that, that is something that I, I need to be aware of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. I, I mean like... Uh, well, I never really went to do research or whatever. I don't really know if there's any successful example behind this. <laughs> it might just go that way, you know. It might just like people just <laughs> my my kid just still call uh, like decided not to respect me and then keep calling me my friend <laughs> after ten years. So. No one knows that. I just think that yeah, mm, it's worth trying like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I I really wish that they, I can break this barrier between between the children and the parents and mm-hmm. yeah. So cool, I believe. Yeah. What? Oh, uh, the wrap up. Yeah, I I guess we will just do a wrap up then. <laughs> okay. So the wrap up is kind of that. We both we both will just allow allow our children to, to call call, <laughs> call us by our names. But then, but then the thing is, I, I would just allow it straight away, <laughs> and then wait for them to understand that if they respect me as. Yeah, that then they'll just call me that. But yours is different because you just have a preference that yeah. uh, you you prefer them to call you mom. So you would let them call you mom first. Then you slowly tell them about this, and then let them digest whether they want to call you mm-hmm. mom or yeah. just call you by your name. Yeah. But we both agree that this may contribute into breaking the 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 distance between mm-hmm. child and parent mm-hmm. because we think that ultimately initially. Parents are mentors for the children, but then ultimately, the tide will change, and then children will become the parents' mentor at one point in time. So we should be equivalent supporters, where we can sit on the table on the same side to discuss the same topic with equal, uh, with equal votes, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, with, with voices that that should be equally heard. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think. I think it's not just about the distance but mm-hmm. how the way they think about stuff like like us in mm-hmm. our culture we 
uh, how, how do I say this? Um, usually, usually when not just parents, someone mm-hmm. who is elder than us tell us something that we kind of like follow or just mm, think it is true. Mm-hmm. But when it's the other way, like what ah. you said earlier, yeah, you won't yeah, directly yeah. follow that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you give the, the topic or the stuff some thoughts before mm-hmm. you decide to mm-hmm. you want to follow or not. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. I think it's not just about the distance, distancing, but also the way they think. Mm, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like yeah, make sure that both of us are more open minded, mm. like we are more accepting for both of our opinions. So instead of like just you should listen to me because I'm your parent. So instead we should sit down like okay, so this is something that we should implement. What do you think and all that? Mm. We kind of get a a common ground into solving things and all that. Mm. Like we listen to each other instead of I order my children or something. Well, but but yeah. <laughs> but it's very easy for us to say it now. But <laughs> but doing it is I, I don't know how how easy or how hard it would be. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. Like like there's still a lot more years to go, and then when we reach that age, we might think differently. Yeah. And then here comes another topic that we might talk in the future. It's 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 listed in one of our topics. Why don't we follow our own advice? Oh. <laughs> like, like, we say we'll say whatever we say now, and then after that we might not follow this anymore. <laughs> so yes, that 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 is totally. Nah, totally true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yes, uh, quite interesting thing. So I actually finished my drink. Oh. We are both drinking <laughs> the same thing. I, I well I, I kinda like the drink. I think I just like a bit of ginger and then lemon so so they, they, they mixed up quite well and then and then you you actually I think you took one one small sip and then this is your second sip or something. Yes. Yeah, quite interesting. Actually I like it also but yeah. you just forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think when I just like like those drinks I'll just like keep drinking it, drinking it, like even though uh uh yeah I guess I uh, it's it's just like a addiction an addiction thing is it I don't know okay I uh, not not really addiction like basically that drinks taste so good that it makes you want to drink it more mm-hmm. then I will just like continue doing it but then maybe you just you you put this podcasting above of it so you're yeah. just so focused in this conversation <laughs> therefore you you don't you don't drink it okay mm-hmm. all right so uh yes basically I've wrap up now what's your insight for the week insight. Very good question. Do I have any insights? <laughs> um, do I have any insights? Oh, um, I've listened to podcasts, all that. I'm thinking, like, can I extract some insights from those? I, mean, <laughs> 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 I, I mean, like, like, um, I, I do like one thing that they, uh, that Ali Abdul says. There is no unique messages. There's only unique messengers. So whatever we talk about all the time is not unique. We are, we are, we are not, we are not pulling. A, a totally new idea of the net. We are just rephr- uh, rephrasing another idea that someone said to a different audience or in a different way so that more people can understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, like most of the time when we are giving advice and all that, we're po- copying other people's yeah, advice. Yeah. We're not really like, this is a new advice, that's why you should follow me. No, you are basically you're taking some other advice and then say it that. Like, Say it to this person because this person knows you and not not that person. Mm-hmm. So you are con you are like conveying that person's message to to this this friend of yours because you think it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. And then like sh- your friend would listen to your advice because she knows you, but not that person. So if the message come from that person, it will have a different different effect. Mm-hmm. Can this be my insight? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, yes. yeah. I, I think I think this is kind of insight. So okay, so wait, <laughs> let me let me. <laughs> Let me quote what you say last time. Mm. Mm. If you think it's an insider, it's an insider. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes, this is actually an insider. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah, how many people heard this, but yeah, this is actually a valid insight. Okay, well, for me, I, I don't think I have any this week. No way. Right. Okay, cool. So, yes, uh, okay. So, uh, yes, so let's see. I don't think there's, there's any, there's any. Oh my god. I can see Shen Qing writing that O H Andrew. That's all I can see. <laughs> but yeah, like, like there's just people come and go and all this, and then we have three people on my on my side, and then four on your side. I don't think there's any questions and all that. I mean, like we won't really be answering questions because this is a podcast, and then podcast is about because uh, podcast is about both of us uh-huh. talking about this particular topic, which is let me just check what is that topic. Come Would on, you man. Allow- would you allow your child to call you by your name? Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, so that's why there's, there's not, not much interaction uh, involved uh, because it's a conversation between both of us and then we just want to try out this Instagram live thing. So for those listening on the podcast, we're actually doing an Instagram live with this episode because we just want to try out how, how this Instagram live thing works. And then, yeah, it will be our first first YouTube uh, podcast with our faces there <laughs> because since we have already recorded it live. So for those who are watching live right now, uh, if you're interested, do search Ink Thoughts, I-N-C, T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, basically any of your favorite podcast platform, and then we should be there, you can follow us, or you can search it on YouTube, it's there as well. If you want to follow us on our social media, we have social media page on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter. It, uh, all of them are named in Tots Pod, so same thing in Tots, but with POD at the end, so that we can get the same name across all three platforms. <laughs> but yes, uh, other than that, anything else you want to share? I don't think so. All right, so thanks everyone for listening. I guess this will be the end for this episode. So hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, yeah, we have our postscript thing, I forgot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Just, well, <laughs> let's just record. I totally forgot about that. So, yeah. How do we find this? I mean, there's two left, five here. In touch, but they're searching. It's oh, helping us at oh. <laughs> Thanks, Sun Ching. Shout out to Sun Ching. Yay! <laughs> okay. But, yes, like, well, how do you find this? Did you, did you, are you actually nervous? Or, like, initially, you're nervous because of this Instagram live thing, but are you still nervous? Um. But when we started, I realized I, I can't really see properly, clearly. I mean, like, you're not seeing anyone. Uh. You just can see people join, 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 but yeah. then, but then, you, <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, you don't really see their faces. It's not like you're on a stage talking to mm-hmm. an audience. Mm-hmm. It's like, they are virtual audience. Unless, because, yeah, another thing is, I believe this is a conversation between us instead yeah. of a conversation between you and your audience. So, mm-hmm. We don't really <laughs> notice their presence. <laughs> yeah, unless like those people who are doing live and all this, their audience is really the Instagram live audience. Then they care about the comments and everything. That they might care about how people see them, how how people care what they say, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's still okay for me. Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, it's the first time. We'll see if we do this again. I mean, can we do this again? I, I think I think we. Can. I mean, I think we can do this. I think Instagram Live has the thing where you can like have two person live together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see that if we get more popular or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this time we only have like two, then four. I think. At, I think later we can see how many like at at the peak how many people join join. I think yours have more. At at at, at peak, I think I saw eleven or something. Oh. One time, so yeah. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think we'll end here. Okay. Okay. End it here. And then shall we end here on our live? Okay, I think we'll end our live then. How do we end our live? I don't know. (laughs) I didn't do this before. Let me try to end my live first.